Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and it's me, Adil KK. In the first part, we covered uh, how to set up the hardware. Basically, uh, setting up the stereo camera using two Raspberry Pi V2 camera modules. Now it is time to set up the software requirement. So basically, we need OpenCV and Open3D library installed on Jetson Nano uh, in a separate Python 3.8 virtual environment. So the installation of these libraries is explained in a separate video which is available in my channel and also I provide the link in the description. So please follow uh, that video and install it in the uh, device. After installing the required software, now it's time for uh, stereo camera calibration. So basically uh, for any computer vision application which involves measurements, we need to calibrate our camera and obtain the camera parameters, basically the intrinsic and extrinsic parameters. For this project, I already created a Python script which you can utilize to calibrate your stereo camera which you prepared before. And this will help you to perform the camera calibration in an easy way. The complete project details and the associated code is available in my GitHub repository and the link is provided in the description. You can check out the readme document to get a clear picture about the project and the, the complete process involved here. And also it explains the need of a stereo camera calibration and what is the camera calibration does and what are the outputs of it. First of all, clone this repository into your home directory using git command. I have already cloned this repository into my home directory. You can see the folder here itself. Now you need to activate the Python virtual environment where you installed OpenCV and Open3D. In my case, the virtual environment name is OpenCV underscore Open3D, which I am activating it right now. Then set up a chessboard pattern on a flat surface. And this is the pattern which will be captured by your camera for calibration and uh, these are the four points which you need to take care of while uh, setting up the pattern then get into the repository and there you can see a python script named stereo calib underscore checksum camera file this is the script which we need to use it for camera calibration so yeah let's start uh, running this script from the command prompt now point your camera towards the pattern in order to capture the images. Now you can see a new window popping up. This is nothing but the live image from the two cameras. The left and right side camera. Okay. Now the procedure is uh, you need to ensure that the pattern is appearing in both images, left and right side images and keep the camera steady and press uh, C button from the keyboard. This will capture the first image for calibration. Okay, And that you can see it in the command line itself. Uh, one image is captured. Now change the camera angle and again uh, capture another image. Like this you need to continue up to 50 images uh, from different camera perspective and from different distance and also uh, from different angles. Also ensure that the pattern is appearing in almost all part of the images that means left, right, up and down corners and also at the center of the images so that the generated distortion caution will be proper. Once you complete capturing 50 images, then uh, the calibration process starts and you can see the corners detected from the chessboard pattern uh, in a separate window. And later, after some time, uh, the calibration parameters will be written into the same directory in a numpy archive format. Here the script will generate three numpy archive files. First one is Jetson Stereo 8MP. This is the actual stereo camera parameter which will be used in the project. And we have generated two additional uh, files. They are Jetson Stereo 8MP C1 and 8MP C2. These two files are the individual camera 
parameters uh, for camera 1 and camera 2. These camera parameters will be used for estimating depth from stereo camera images and that will be explained in the next video.